You wanna learn something cool? Well, glitch effects have been in style way before you were born. So in this video, we're gonna talk about three quick glitch effects you can apply to every project right here inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like, how come you haven't subscribed already? So of course, you know what we're talking about in this video. So without me rambling anymore, we're gonna jump in the tutorial and we're gonna get started. So here we are in our tutorial composition and we have some titles in here. If you wanna follow along with our tutorial, you can download our project files down below for free. And you know, this could be a logo, you know, video, but when you have that in there, what you should do is go to layer, pre-compose, and just call it placeholder. This way you can switch it out later if you want to. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to layer, new, solid. Then we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we'll add fractal noise, all right? And what we wanna do is come here to fractal type, set this to max, and set the noise type to block. And we'll come here to contrast, set this up to like 180, come here to the brightness and set this down to like negative 25. And we'll open up transform tab, uncheck uniform scaling, and we'll set our uh, scale width to like 6,000. Then what we're gonna do is come here to the evolution right here and we're gonna alt click the stopwatch and we're gonna type in the expression time asterisk 1000. So now we'll have this animating, not exactly what we're looking to do, right? But this is the map for the glitches. So what we'll do is go to effect transition and we'll grab a linear wipe and this will kind of dissolve it. You know, we'll do like a transition out. So maybe at like a second half, we'll add a keyframe for transition completion and we'll move forward maybe by a few seconds and set this up to 100%. So this, this way the glitching will animate outwards and go back to your normal titles, no problem. So when we're done, we'll grab our solid layer, go to layer, pre-compose, just call it map, click OK. Then we'll go ahead and turn it off and we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. Come here to effect, come here to uh, distort and grab displacement map. Set displacement map layer to the map layer. So now we'll get some glitches in here and you know, that's totally fine, but I really wanna take this to the next level. So what we'll do is maybe come here to the vertical displacement and set this down to zero for now. And we'll come here to max horizontal displacement and we can set this up. So we'll do some really cool keyframing here. So what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for max horizontal displacement and also vertical displacement. And we'll just set you on our keyboard, bring up the keyframes. And what we'll do here is we'll just kinda move forward and we'll just create random variations of these numbers. And then what we do is select all the keyframes, right click it, and go to uh, toggle hold the keyframe. And this is a really cool keyframe option. So what we'll do here is we'll just scrub through here in the timeline and we'll just do some random values. Um, and this will allow us to be able to control the glitches. So we can have it really glitchy and then we can maybe set it down to zero and then we can raise the number back up. So just create some random variations with these numbers and you'll get unique looks. And now for our keyframes in here, we just have a little bit of a unique, you know, glitch look in here and it obviously it transitions off. So this is our first glitch technique that can glitch logos, titles, or even your video. So our next technique is a really quick one. We're going to create this little RGB look real fast. So what we'll do is grab all of our layers that we have in here and we'll go to layer pre-compose. Just call it, you know, all glitch. And then what we'll do is go to effect channel and we'll grab uh, shift channels, turn off the green to full off, go to blue, turn it full off. We'll grab our layer here, go to edit, duplicate, come here to the red channel, turn it to full off, come here to the green channel, set it to full off, duplicate it again, the layer down here, come here to green, set it to full off, go to blue, set it to back to blue. And what we'll do is we'll grab our two top layers here and come here to blend mode and set it to screen. Perfect. So what we'll do here is we'll just offset each of these layers just by one frame. So we'll kind of create a staircase like this. And this is gonna allow us to create this really quick RGB look when it glitches out and it just looks really cool. So once it's put together, you know, that looks really nice and obviously it continues to fade out. So a really quick second technique if you're following this path. And of course, before we move on to our next technique, I gotta give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension with 650 elements. And what's great about it is we have a handful of templates and I'm gonna show you these right now. So for example, you're doing title work, you're watching this video, so you clearly do some titles. And what you can do is preview a title template right here out of 210 and you see what you want. And when you find something you like, click apply. And with one click of a button, it adds a full title template composition to your After Effects project. We can go into this template and easily change out our words. We can quickly change our colors with a click of a button to whatever we want. And we can also update some of our graphics here to help fit this box a little bit better with our title. That looks much better. And our main composition, everything updates. And now we have a full workable title template in here. But you know, I wanna take this to the next level. I wanna add a little bit more flair to this. So we come into our motion graphics folder where we have about 160 motion graphic templates. And one thing we like to add here are clusters. And these are quite beautiful. 
And now with some accent motion graphic clusters added, we're able to add a little bit more detail to our title template and help taking this to the next level. And then obviously we have animated backgrounds. And we'll go ahead and finish off this composition by applying one of these as well. And by adding an animated background, we have a full After Effects composition that we put together within a few clicks, saving a tremendous amount of time not having to create this from scratch. And you can use this in any After Effects project. So you don't have to start a new project file. You can have your active project and you can start bringing in templates. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while of course producing amazing work for your clients and personal projects, you can take a look at any of our packs. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So for our third and final technique, we're gonna go ahead and create this black and white look along with this warped perspective that you get here with this glitching as well. So first thing we wanna do is go to layer, new, solid, and make sure you have a background in here. I'm gonna use black and bring this underneath everything. Okay, then what we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect, distort, and we'll grab optics compensation. And what we're gonna do is we're going to increase the field of view all the way up to like, you know, 100 plus, maybe 130 ish. Check on reverse lens distortion, and you can go even further if you want. You see, you get that really warped perspective there, and that's what we want. So what we'll do is come here to begin our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for field of view. We'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes, move forward. We can just bring this down at a random number. And you just want to keep this, you know, keyframes several frames apart. And as before, we'll grab the keyframes, right click them, click on toggle, hold keyframe. We'll move forward in our timeline and we're just going to create this random glitch here. And, you know, by doing these toggle hold keyframes, it allows us to just hold on to that specific number for however frames to the next keyframe. So it's a way to control the animation and kind of keep it that way. So it creates a glitch instead of being a smooth animation. And when you want this effect to kind of subside, make sure your last keyframe is set to zero. So that way it'll just end perfectly without it. And when all your keyframes are in place, you'll have this very cool glitch effect here, obviously with the, you know, the warp perspective. So it just adds another element of glitches to your composition. So it's really cool. Then what we can do for our adjustment layer as well is we'll go to effect channel and we'll grab uh, invert. And this is a really cool effect if you want to just invert the composition. So what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for uh, blend with original and we'll just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes there. We'll move forward maybe by a frame or two and set this up to 100%. And you know, as you know it, right click keyframes, toggle hold keyframe, right? So you just go through here and set it from zero to 100%, do whatever you want. You can obviously, you know, quick tip, copy the keyframes and paste them. And when you're done giving yourself epilepsy, here's what we have all three of our glitch effects put together. And you see it puts together a really cool composition that will work obviously for titles, you know, logos, or even with video layers. So really cool glitch effects in this one. All right, so that was our tutorial on these three glitch effects. And now you know something that was around before you were born. Actually, I have no idea when glitch effects became a thing, so I'm just making this up. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this YouTube After Effects tutorial. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.